local leaders and health workers at Gombe General Hospital in Utambara District are in the joyful mode after the first city acquired new infrastructure. We are now, it is uh, as a result of that particular directive of the president. I'm really grateful for this worker because we have realized and learned very many lessons. One of them, you can realize value for money from a better supervised work. Due to lack of accommodation, some health workers at Gombe General Hospital had been commuting from home and reporting late for duty. Improving the housing conditions of the staff actually motivates them to work better and to improve the quality of services that they are offering to the patients because now they will be able to stay nearby and be able to come to work on time but also to work during the weird hours of the night. With the addition of 56 units, this issue is likely to come to an end. We have emergencies any time of the day. So this is very good and it is going to help improve uh, the quality of services, especially the timeliness of the services. Uh, also, improving the infrastructure of the hospital improves the working environment. It's first class work and we are sure if this one is maintained, we are likely to benefit most. Currently, the staff quarters are done in terms of, in, of renovation. The buildings which we are proposed to us are already in place and we are only lacking uh, more facilities to be put in. Uganda People's Defense Forces engineers are also undertaking renovation on the existing old staff quarters to give them a facelift. Well, you have really changed the image and I know if we had the people who are patriotic because i know when the president always talks about patriotism the two projects that updf has worked on we have seen a tremendous difference uh, in terms of quality and even time spent on the projects 12 billion shillings were earmarked for the renovation and construction of a fully equipped maternity ward and new staff quarters at Gombe General Hospital. Contract was to build the MCH and uh, the staff houses. This contract was for one year and we did it within that very one year we are ready for handover and the structures we are commissioned by the Saba Minister, the Prime Minister, Robin Anabanja. Now currently we are handling renovations of around 20, there are 20 blocks, all of them are staff houses and are going to accommodate 56 doctors. On 1st July 2021, President Yuri Kaguta Museveni directed that all government projects, starting with schools and health construction projects, be handled by Uganda People's Defense Forces Engineers Brigade Haruna Mutesa Sila. UBC News.